What's up, Grin fam? Welcome to the weekly Grin Roundup. What's the sound? Oh, it's the mingle jingle. Do you know what the mingle jingle is? No. The mingle jingle is the latest proposal uh, to the Mimble Wimble protocol implemented by the Grin community, and it's pretty cool. It's uh, proposing to take transactions fully non-interactive. So the sender only needs the recipient's address, which is made up of the two public keys, and you don't have to worry about like third parties or people being online to, to exchange information. So. Interesting. That's pretty cool. And also, addresses are not linkable to wallets, and transaction outputs are not linkable to addresses, which is also a good privacy uh, thing, thing to have, for sure. Um, yeah. Additionally, blocks um, don't link transaction inputs to transaction outputs, and the protocol provides supply security and ownership security. So you can be sure that there's no like hidden minting of coins, the supply mm. is the same, um, and the ownership of the coins is, is secure, and you know who owns what, or whoever owns what they own, it stays their own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think did you guys get this that, far? I may have slightly mansplained that, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah. um, but then yeah, also spent outputs are not needed for chain verification, um, and also, the protocol provides unconditional payment proofs. So unconditional payment. Yeah, that, that's the seven seven features that are listed uh, on the page there. Hmm, sounds almost too good to be true. Well, there are two drawbacks that are mentioned. Um, the first one is that the protocol is going to require way more complex consensus uh, rules than in Mimblewimble currently. So it's mm -hmm. going to be a little harder to reach consensus, but theoretically that, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, and then the second one is that the new the amount of data uh, that new nodes are going to need to download um, in order to verify the full transaction history is going to be about two to three times bigger um, than it is in Mimble, Mimble Wimble. Mm. But, uh, you know, it depends, I mean, compared to like other privacy preserving blockchains, um, it's still like way, way better than mm -hmm. than what's what's out there currently. So it's still small, but it will it will get bigger. Um, but yes, it's a give and take. Yep, yep. That's and yeah, that's the the mingle jingle jingle. Mingle <laughs> jingle. So I'm excited for this. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah, we will see. We will see. Exciting and looking forward to hearing more. All right. In other grin news, we've got the Iron Belly wallet. Um, actually, it was I think it's I. One SKN um, contributed uh, Thank to you. yeah contributed the Iron Belly wallet. He got some funding from the community. Um, that period is at a close, but he's still going or they are still going to keep working on it, and we're excited to see what comes next. You mentioned a few features in there, I think. Yes, he's working on dark mode, working on pin code instead of a password. And he's working on easy peasy onboarding, so you can pick your own node. Cool, yeah. We're excited to see what comes next, and uh, thank you for all your work you've done up to this point. We appreciate you. All right, and finally, for all of the developers out there, if you're looking to support the Grin Project, which is doing some really exciting stuff with Mimble, Wimble, Jingle, <laughs> yeah, and all of that, um, there's 105 open issues. Uh, under in the Grin repository and 65 open issues in the Grin Wallet repository uh, under Grin Wallet on GitHub and there are some labels with good first issues so if you're just starting out check those out and uh, yeah it's open, open contribute go ahead and contribute.